This will be a comparison video between the Insta360 Link 2 and the OBSBOT Tiny 2 Lite. Two devices which were both geared toward getting more users into webcam use. Both of them are 4K AI powered devices. Both of them have a price tag of less than $200. I'm Jason Hoffman. My goal is to help you have the confidence to just press go live. It deserves to be said that I purchased the Insta360 Link 2 from Amazon, but the OpsBot Tiny 2 Lite was sent to me several months ago for product review. That being said, what you get is my unfiltered opinion about the two devices. Would you care to share your unfiltered opinion in the comments below? We will be recording with both of these uh, cameras. We'll be using the microphone built into both of these cameras. At the very end of this video, I have put the feature set list going through the software, what each, uh, what each camera's software will offer you as you plug it into your laptop or computer. But what I want us to see is what does it look like? What does it sound like? And how well does it operate with me in front of it, whether I'm doing content creation or whether I'm using this for business? As we look at the comparison between these two cameras, I'll do my best to put on the screen which audio we're using, which video we're using, so that you can keep up with what looks better, what sounds better, and how they interact with the person that is in front of them. The OBSBOT Tiny 2 Lite came out in March of 2024. It was the follow-up to their OBSBOT Tiny 2, which was a wildly successful camera. A lot of folks choked on the price tag of it, so, Obsbot, in all of their great, great wisdom, came out with the Tiny 2 Lite. Still a fully featured camera, but with a price tag of $179.99. As, as a matter of fact, at the making of this video, it's on Amazon at $149.99. Now, I can't promise it'll be that again, but I'm just telling you, you can find a really good price on a really good 4K AI webcam and you can find it in the Tiny 2 Lite. Now, comparing this to the Insta360 Link 2 will be done in the form of a torture test. You've seen that I've set them both up on a tripod right in front of me. And I am running these through, I am recording these two videos that you'll see side by side in just a moment. We'll switch back and forth between the audio so you can hear. It's done by running them through my MacBook in quick time. Maximum setting on the video that's hard for a lot of cameras to put up with. Um, there are there are some cameras that I, I plug in and try to do this with, and, and they don't like me running it through QuickTime. We'll see how either of these cameras uh, likes it or how, how uh, QuickTime tolerates them, but it's just going to give me the basic settings for each one, as though you were plugging this in and cranking up Zoom or Microsoft Teams, or Google Meets, or FaceTime, or whatever it is you're doing to video conference, whatever it is you're doing to, to record your content on, instead of going through each of the features that the software offers for each camera, which you'll find that at the end of this video, what I'm doing is just running it plugged in, sound on, let's turn up the lights and see what each one of them looks like. The Insta360 is a, is a product that came out in September of 2024, and it is the follow-up to their popular Insta360 Link, the original. This is the Link 2. The original Link was, uh, was a, a pretty hefty price tag, and a lot of folks choked on the price tag of the Insta360 Link 2, so they came out with this more cost-effective device. Now, the difference between the OpsBot Tiny 2 Lite and the Insta360 in terms of price is that OpsBot is going to beat it by $20 on MSRP. It's a $199.99 for the Insta360 360 Link 2 is a $179.99 for the Osbot Tiny 2 Lite, depending on what kind of Prime Day deals or what kind of deals that, that each company might put on Amazon. You might find it a little bit cheaper, but to start with, the Osbot Tiny 2 Lite is going to beat it by about $20 in getting into a 4K AI-powered webcam. One of the things that so many folks want to know about a webcam is uh, how does it look, how does it sound, and how does it focus, because you can't have a webcam that won't focus or won't change focus. So let's look at what the Insta360 does when you put something in front of it. That is a good, snappy, refocused from me to its own product box. All right. And then they want to know, does it follow? 
Can it follow me? Now, I don't have tracking turned on yet, as you can see, as I move across the shot here. It is not following me. Asking it to follow me is as simple as showing it it's the palm. And so now, as I move about, it's going to follow me around this little area. It's going to keep me front and center. It's going to keep me uh, top to bottom centered as well. And so the tracking is going to be good in, in the Insta360 Link 2. Coming back to the Obsbot Tiny 2 Lite and its microphone, we'll look at how it is going to refocus. So from me to its product package, I guess I should show, tell you what, I'm actually going to show, this may be cheating, but I'm going to show that one instead because it's just a different package and you saw how the other one focused in on it and so now that's consistent focusing from me to it happens quickly happens snappily happens uh, accurately i'm impressed with the the uh, the refocusing of both of them and then whether it's going to track me well or not let's see i have tracking turned off on the oh hello I've got the tripod here that is trying to follow me there have the tracking turned off on this, so as I'm rolling around here in front of the device, it is not moving. So let's turn tracking on. It is as simple as showing it my palm, and now it is blinked at me and turned blue. I know the tracking is on, and so as I move into different parts of the screen, it's going to track me as well. It does a really good job of following me. I use this one in my. I have used this one in my office many times, and it follows me all around my office as I'm on a, on a consultation call or a video call there in my office. And so while we are still on the Obsbot Tiny 2 Lite, let's go ahead and run through a script that will allow us to go side by side, hear the same audio on both of them, but see the same picture. I'll do my best to put myself in the center. We will turn tracking off after it has centered me up. It's green, so I know that it is off. The Insta360 Link 2 is an AI-powered webcam that does a decent job, but I can't help feel like it's playing catch-up with the Obsbot Tiny 2 Lite. Knowing that the Obsbot Tiny 2 Lite came out a full six months ahead of the Insta360 Insta Link 2, effect one had on the other. I'm not saying the Insta360 Link 2 is a bad webcam. It does a fine job, but it's a little higher priced. And you can see from your own and you can see from your own view what the difference in image quality is, and you can hear from your own ears what the difference in audio quality is, and you can decide whether it's worth paying. It is my opinion that the Obsbot is a better option for anyone who wants to add a webcam to their content creation or level up their professionalism as they do online or video calls. The Obsbot Tiny 2 Lite is a 4K. AI-powered webcam designed to get more people into leveling up their professional online presence. Whether you're a content creator or whether you use a webcam for business, the Obsbot Tiny 2 Lite is a new option for us to be a more affordable option for improving our webcam presence. Let's look at what they offer us. We're going to have the Tiny 2 Lite. No longer is it a separate uh, mount. We now have it built in for the mounting on uh, on the top of our computer or laptop. We do still have the quarter 20 mount on the bottom, but all this lets us adjust the angle so that we can use this mount at the top of our of our MacBook or our laptop. We're going to get the USB-C to USB-C cable in this box. It does have the USB-A adapter if you need it, and then of course the product documentation that you would expect. Uh, let's get this put on our MacBook and see how it operates. I have started a screen recording so that you can see what I'm looking at here on my MacBook. And we're looking at the Obsbot Center software. This is what controls your Obsbot Tiny 2 Lite, any of their other webcams that they offer as well. I have the video preview window open where we can start a recording. We can take a snapshot. We can choose our video format. 1080 30, 10, excuse me, 4K 30, 1080 30, 720 30 are all available uh, as, as it is now. Looking at our console, I have some AI tracking for the person that's in front of the camera. And so what I'm going to be able to do is, is choose standard tracking or motion tracking, which gives me a little bit more of a, a, a wavy effect. I mean, a, uh, mm -hmm. it's going to flow a little bit more when I have a motion tracking rather than standard. Uh, normal, upper body, or close up are my three choices for uh, for how this treats it. Now, I'm very close. I mean, th there's the camera. It's 
three foot, just over three foot away from me right there. Uh, so it, it doesn't have to be uh, zoomed. It doesn't have to be a whole lot of, uh, of adjustment there. It does have that AI mode where if somebody else comes into, into view here and it recognizes their face, it's going to zoom out a little bit and make sure that all of us are in frame. That's a really good quality to have for, uh, for, for the business setting because as you do calls and you need to bring somebody else in on the call who's in the office with you, that's a great feature to have. Our presets are right here so I can have it preset for individual parts of where I am. It can, as far as that gimbal will go, it will preset to that spot, remember it, and you can, you can call that up in just a moment. We also have the, uh, the, the view here where I can control what the gimbal is doing. Um, and of course, it's going to keep me in center there since it's tracking me. But uh, I have the ability to go to, to zoom uh, presets wide, medium, and narrow. But I can also do it custom there. So we'll take that back to zero. Moving on over to the image section here in our Opsbot Center software for the Tiny2 Lite. I have uh, the ability to run HDR, which is high dynamic range is always a, a nice feature to have so long as the processor will handle it, and this one will, no problem. Uh, focus, exposure, flicker is, is something that is nice to have just based on what kind of lighting you have in your office, maybe, or in your content creation room. Uh, I can choose autofocus, auto exposure, or I have very detailed control there. A white balance can be autofocused, or I can, I mean, can be auto chosen, or I can choose the temperature of my shot. And then, of course, the normal contrast, saturation, hue, all the stuff that would be there in the image quality. Tab. Then we have beauty options. Those are going to be your filters and your backgrounds. You can retouch your own image. Uh, they have some presets. You can do some custom there. Uh, this is as beautiful as I get. There's no use in retouching anything that I've got going on here. But if you need privacy, you can uh, choose to blur your background to different levels. And you can, of course, do your filters if, if your lighting is off. And you need to just to try to a filter to clean your look up just a little bit. And then the more section lets you have your security. Uh, so device sleep is going to point this, this camera straight down. Uh, it's going to turn the microphone off. And, and you can set your sleep time there. When it goes to sleep, you can choose to do your own custom background. So if you need to excuse yourself for a moment, it will go to a background and they'll know that the stream is still up. And then our gesture control here is, uh, is lock target and zoom. Then we can do a dynamic zoom. So zoom lets me zoom in or out. Let's see if I can make it go back out now. All right, there it is, and out. Nope. All right, how about, uh, where, there we are, dynamic zoom. No, no. Oh, even more. Not good. Not good. Oh, there we go. All right. Zoomed back out. Good. Uh, gesture control. Uh, locking the target is showing the palm just like it is on so many other devices. And so now I can move about within the shot and it won't follow me. But if I want it to follow me and keep me front and center, center stage, so to speak, we can do that. I can flip the direction. And then we have there our audio, uh, our audio features here as well. We do have a noise reduction. Off, weak, medium, and strong. Those are, uh, those are valuable. Uh, I have an office where the air conditioner handler is right on the other side of my wall, and so I use a little bit of noise reduction when I'm using this camera in there. And of course, we have some gain control. We can turn the microphone off altogether. Uh, we have our mirror image if we need to do some mirroring, depending on the device we've plugged it into. And then our pan tilt settings here as well. Uh, indicator status light. I've got a little blue light whenever it is tracking me. I have a green light when it is not tracking me. And the Obsbot Tiny 2 light is a cost-effective version of a 4K AI-powered webcam that will allow a lot more users to get into this space and increase their, their uh, online uh, presence, whether that's business or content creation, because we're no longer just using that mm, ridiculously uh, poor webcam that's built into most of our laptops and computers. The Insta360 Link 2 is designed to be a more affordable option to get people into the AI-powered 4K webcam field. Whether you are a content creator, whether you are a professional that does a lot of online business in your work, in the, the calls that you have to make, this device is aimed at getting you connected and look your best while doing so. We have a separate mounting base. No longer is it built into the device. It's now separate. It's magnetic. And so when we connect it, 
We have the ability to add this to our uh, computer. The top actually flips out as its own little piece, so I can make some adjustment there. And it has a quarter 20 mount on bottom if I want to put this on a tripod itself. We'll connect this with the USB-C to USB-C cable. Or if you need a USB-A, they did include the adapter in the box. Let's get it connected to my MacBook and see what it offers us. So we've started a screen recording. So you can see what I'm looking at when I look at the Insta360 Link controller on my MacBook. It does have some good uh, features that will allow me to customize what I want out of this particular webcam. My view adjustment here, and I, it's obvious as to what I can do with zooming and with panning and tilting the uh, the, tr the uh, gimbal that's built into the Insta360 Link 2. Then I have some tracking settings here as well that will allow me to, uh, to customize how close or how far I'm tracking, um, how high or how low I'm tracking. I, I do want to show you uh, across the bottom here, I can do uh, 4K30, 1080 30, or 720 30. Then I have some other, um, some other options that will allow me some different functions there as well. I can record from the, the software itself. Uh, that's the preview button, by the way. The record is over here. And then I can also take a snapshot. Now, the, my effects tab here is going to allow me to keep uh, exposure, focus, and my temperature, my color. Uh, I'm going to keep them all on auto for this room. It's not going to change much while I'm here, so we're good there. I can choose my own background so that I can... I can not show what I'm, I'm actually in. A lot of folks that I do consultation calls with will do that background. Uh, and then I can do any kind of makeup stuff and filter stuff that goes on here with your typical uh, webcam software. And then the more tab is where our gesture controls are. I have tracking on. Now I have tracking off. And so I can move about the view if I want to. I can, I can come over here and, and make mention of the monitor that is behind me if I want to bring that back into view. Uh, turning tracking back on is as simple as just showing my palm and then you see that it, it readjusts and, and sets me back in the center of the frame. Uh, whiteboard option, uh, the Insta360 has a whiteboard option so that if I'm in front of or, or there is somewhere beside me, I think I just turned my tracking back off. There we go. If there's a whiteboard or an empty space in the wall next to me, it's going to scan up and down as you see here. Let's see. Yep, it starts to scan. That's going to tell me it can't find a whiteboard here. It's giving me the message to make sure the whiteboard is within range. There's not one, so it's not going to find that. But that's okay. Uh, that just shows us what we're talking about. Um, if I had a whiteboard, it would keep it in the frame, and I could move about it, uh, and, and, and it would highlight and focus on it. Uh, audio modes, I'm going to have voice focus, which I have now. I'm going to have voice suppression. If I have several voices, if I'm doing this in a in a coffee shop or in a crowded place where there's a lot of voices around me, it's going to suppress those voices and focus in on mine. And music balance just gives me a good blend of what's happening if I'm playing music in the background here as well. Uh, we do have horizontal and vertical flip. This one can do uh, portrait recording, portrait uh, view. You, you just have to turn your tripod uh, 90 degrees in order for that to happen. And so um, we'll, we'll stick with the horizontal view because that's that's where most of my uh, my, my folks are going to be using it. And if I'm a content creator for uh, for traditional content, and if I'm doing this in business, I'm most of the time going to have this in, uh, in horizontal mode, uh, landscape mode. So one of the things that it's going to allow here as well is in the software, we have the ability to, if somebody else comes in the picture with me, to keep everyone in view. It's going to fight to keep everyone in view in the software. Insta360 has also given you the option of using your mobile phone, your smartphone, to remotely control the device if you set this up and you've moved farther away than what you can reach. And that's a pretty good feature as well.